They're unique because we really do make an effort for the librarian, the information literacy specialist to be a partner in the instruction. Uh, we've got quite a unique situation where we've had some positions that have evolved over the last couple of years. So there's a little bit more put on the teachers and we have to constantly remind them that your library is a resource. Any and everything that you're looking for, any support that you're looking for, any ideas and collaboration, it really should start in the library. And that's something that we're going to continue to focus on as the years go on because right now we're in a state with technology tools and resources, open educational resources, that there's so much being thrown at teachers. And you do need a tour guide through all of that. And you will find all of that support right there in your library. One of the big things is, is that our information literacy specialists, which is what we call librarians in Aldine, uh, uh, care about our kids. And they know that our kids uh, get a lot of their resources and their academic support at school. And so they are cognizant of that and work hard to uh, not only collaborate with teachers, but to make sure that students are getting books to read and take home uh, during the school year and uh, during holidays. And, and we have summer, some summer library openings so that uh, our kids are always able to get uh, to information and to have a safe place to feel uh, like they can just kind of hang out and be themselves. Uh, you know, we have a lot of maker spaces going on. Uh, I have uh, a ninth grade center who tweeted out a picture of uh, 30 kids in line to get a pass to go to the library in the morning. And that's what we, that's what we want is kids to feel comfortable in a yes. safe space where they can visit mm -hmm. and learn and, uh, you know, get good books to read and find that resource they need for their project. Our kids have access to pretty much everything they could dream of. Our biggest task has been making the parents aware of what they have access to. So we're going to make a bigger effort from now until they get tired of hearing us to let them know what they can find with the library. Everything they could possibly need, we're able to help them and guide them and provide for them. I don't ever want a kid to sit at home, on whether it's during summer break or winter break or what have you, and just not know that, that we have these things for them. It, it, it can truly open their eyes to a lot of possibilities, regardless of whether it's traditional books that they're coming after or if they are just going pretty much anywhere they want to go. Libraries transform uh, students uh, in our school district uh, by giving them a place to be and a place to feel safe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when there are other places in the school where they don't feel safe. And to me, that's always been something, besides just the obvious uh, mm -hmm. things, that's always been something that's been important is it's a place that if you're a little disenfranchised, sometimes you'll go there and it's okay to be there at lunch instead of having to sit by yourself in the cafeteria or whatever. Mm -hmm.